Teacher, we saw someone drying out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. Because they don't belong to our group. Because they didn't go to all the training and formation. Because they not belong to our class, our clique group. Because they don't speak the same language that we speak. Because they're so strange, Father. We have to be careful now because today the Word of God give us much better, bigger, and more beautiful the worldview and the reality that we live today. God is much bigger than our country, our continent, even our world, 2021. I always reminded myself that God knows me more than I know myself. God loves me more than I love myself. And God's plan is bigger, better, and more beautiful than my plan. But a lot of times we are jealous with one another because somehow we think we are the center of the world. Somehow we think our idea is the best idea and no other ideas. And sometimes we say, his way or her way or no way. But today, it's pretty interesting. How many of you here watched the movie called The Bulletproof Monk? Chong Yun Fa, it's a few years ago. This monk carried this scroll or scripture for many, many years, and he's getting older, and he tried to find somebody to carry that scroll, that scripture, the sacred text next. And finally, he couldn't find any monks but a thief and a, a man and a woman. Ordained them, both of them, man and woman, a thief and maybe a Protestant to carry the scripture. How can they do that? You ask yourself. But God has a plan and God has a way. Today, in the book of Numbers, 70 people chosen on God's list, a short list, so that God can take some of the spirit of Moses and put it into these 70 chosen ones. It happened that two of them didn't show up at church. They stay home, they stay in the camp, and somehow, while God ordained the 70 or 68, the two at home received the same spirit. And they prophesizing in their own camp. And that's why Joshua, a very good, like an altar server, very close to the Moses, said, hey, Moses, you better stop them. Don't let them prophesy because they didn't show up. They didn't, sh they didn't present themselves in a camp, in a, in a church. And Moses said a beautiful question today for us to remember. Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the people of the Lord were prophets? Would that the Lord might bestow his spirit on them all? My brothers and sisters, we are so different in many different ways. I am so blessed that I could speak English. Because if not, if I speak Vietnamese, nobody understands what I'm talking about. But even my English, even my vocation, even my priesthood today, I couldn't do this without God's grace, without God's ordination, with, without God's trust and picked and chosen. Because I remember before I came to the seminary, I didn't know how to pray our father in English. I didn't know how to say Hail Mary in English. I never attended any English masses. And by the way, 27, 28 years ago, I came here 
with my uncle right here. All my family's right there. That's right there, Uncle Tony. He took me from New Orleans to Baton Rouge to the flea market and taught me how to speak a couple words in English and how to learn the American culture here since I just arrived from Vietnam 20 some years ago. And now I'm here in this church and speaking English with you. Can you imagine that? A shy, even shameful man, the man that never could speak anything in public. Now he's standing in front of you and they say a few words in English. I am stunned to myself as well. But my brothers and sisters, we all are chosen daughter and son of God. Amen to that? Now, this is the question we need to ask. These two, Eldad and Medad, they are also on the list of God. And so we have to ask ourselves, am I on the list of God? If you and I are on the list of God, we need to be confident. We need to speak the word of God, not just in the church, everywhere we go. We need to use the word of God as the word of our heart, the language of our heart, so that we inspire people, not just by the word, but our action, our presence, so that when they see us, they see God. I told my children from school here, you know, remember the question Jesus asked, who do you say that I am? And of course, you look like Elijah. You sound like John the Baptist. Or you did something like an ancient prophet. Jesus did not satisfy with that answer. The answer Peter said to, Peter, to Jesus, you are Christ of God. You are the son of the living God. That is the answer. You know why? Because that is who he is. He is the son of the living God. Means that he is relating and in, in, intimately, in, directly relating to his father, his God. That means he is a powerful man and a powerful God. So how do you feel? How do you present yourself when somebody said that you look like God? You act like God. You listen like God. You have that compassion. You have that patience. You have that generosity. You have that heart of God. You have that might of God. You have that beautiful smile of God. My brothers and sisters, we need to remind ourselves every day that we are chosen ones, not because we are better and holier or whatever, but because God loves us first, because God chosen us first, because we are precious. And so today, let us remind one another. Let us take care of each other. Give to one another a cup of water, cold water, it's okay. But that cup of cold water can save our life, can save that person's life. God does not ask us to do something big. Just a cup of water can satisfy God's heart and God's joy. How easy it is. And I'm so joyful and I believe God is so glad to see each one of us today. And I invite you to invite your friends, your neighbors, your family, your loved one to come to church. It doesn't what church, I have to tell you that. If you keep coming to church, you guarantee to hear the word of God. And the word of God is not just the word. The word of God is the word of wisdom, the word of life. 
the word that gives us eternal life, the word that gives us joy, the word that frees us from captive, from bondage, from addiction, from depression, from sadness, from division even. And so if we are Christian, Catholic, apostles, disciples of Jesus, son and daughter of God, we better live our life as a complete community of diversities, of differences, not because we are opposite, but because we belong to the same God, the loving God. This is the image for you that i like you to remember. The globe, right? We are on the globe, the world right here. It doesn't matter where you start. If you keep coming to that same destination, either send the direction, you will be there. But even you started in a different opposite direction, you still meet together one day in one point. So don't be afraid that we are different. Don't be afraid that we're so different. At first, we couldn't even reconcile one another. Trust that God's spirit is upon us in a very different ways so that with two or three get together, God is. God needs more than just you, just me. God needs the whole world to build the kingdom of God now and right here. Amen.